From our experience, electronic systems are a very effective method for protecting against corrosion, and here's why. One, they protect the entire vehicle. Two, they improve paintwork due to a reduction in oxidation. Three, they can be self-installed. Four, they are a one-time fit. Five, they have no ongoing maintenance, time, or costs. Six, they last 10 plus years. Seven, they're environmentally friendly. And eight, they're transferable to your next vehicle. So as you can see, there's a number of positives to electronic systems, but like sprays, they too come with limitations. One is that you can't see them working. They don't protect against surface rust. Finally, they often aren't supported scientifically. Now before going any further, it's important to clarify something here. Not all electronic systems are the same. If you've done any research or talked to people you know, there's people who swear by electronic systems and many who swear against them. The addition of some of these systems being taken off the market further adds to this debate. Now in order to get the full story, we want to explain both sides of the equation. Many electronic systems run on different technologies, are built differently and have varying results. The bottom line is that some of these systems do work and some do not. There are currently three methods for slowing rust using an electrical charge. One, cathodic protection, also known as sacrificial anode. Two, impressed current protection, which is typically used for underground pipelines. And three, capacitive coupling, which is used on free air structures and what we use here at ERPS. Though cathodic and impressed current systems do work, they require an aquatic or ground-based environment and therefore are not capable of working on free air structures such as cars, buses, trucks or four-wheel drives.